<laughs> oh, good morning, my dear Sony PlayStation fanboys. Good morning. How's the blood pressure? Good. <laughs> oh man, listen, this the June has to be the Xbox month. I tell you what, I'm gonna name this entire month of June like the uh, Xbox month. Officially, the June will become the Xbox month. Has to be. So many great news coming in for Xbox this month and nothing but just nothing good for PlayStation in terms of news coming out this month of June. We're almost done with June, you know, uh, July is right around the corner, July 4th, Independence Day here in America. But anyway, let's let's read this article. This is from the uh, Xbox uh Xbox Xbox. But it sounds kind of cool, doesn't it? X boss you know it's gonna trigger my sony pony fanboys even even more just me saying x boss you know i feel like like reading this entire thing in um heat ledger's may he rest in peace heat ledger joker's uh voice i don't know should i i, I guess we could do it we could do it a little bit it's early in the morning why not you know why not? Here we go. All right, this is for you, Malik. I know you're watching. I know how much your wife, she loves this. So this is for you. Hold on. That's great. I got a pony... I got a pony, pony hair stuck in my in my mouth. <laughs> All right, let's continue. I need to get into the whole heat ledger. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm gonna read this for you guys. Ho ha he ha ha. Hmm. At the Xbox, we are committed to bringing the joy and community of gaming to everyone. Today, we are announcing collaboration with Amazon, where Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members in over 25 countries can play games directly from the Xbox app on select Fire TV devices via cloud gaming giving people even more choice in how they play their favorite games. In July, the Xbox will be available on the Fire Stick 4K Max and 60 on the Fire Stick for $50. Remember, it's not about the money. It's about sending the message to Sony Pony fanboys. For people new to console gaming or for those looking for another way to play it, it's a great low, low cost, convenience and portable option to enjoy a huge library of incredible games. To get started, players just need a fire TV stick, a Bluetooth enabled wireless controller, and an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate membership to gain an instant access to hundreds of phenomenal games, including your favorite Senua Saga, Hellblade, Starfield, Forza Horizon, and so many more. And now, we are going to switch gears to my friend, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Plus Bethesda Games, Studios' beloved Fallout games are also available with Game Pass Ultimate. 
including Fallout 76 and Fallout 4. Fallout fans will be able to play these games on the select Amazon Fire TV devices alongside the acclaimed Fallout TV show on the Prime Video which released in April. All right, all right, Keanu, take a seat now. It's very simple to install and launch the Xbox app from your Fire TV device. Sign in with your Microsoft account to play. If you're an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate member, you'll have an instant access to hundreds of cloud-enabled games, including one of my favorites, Batman Arkham Knights. What? No. Yeah. Batman Arkham Asylum, I meant to say. Either way, one of the Batman Rocksteady games that were successful. All right. So anyway, did I say Arkham Knights? <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this, all right? I'm trying to give you a little laugh here early in a Friday morning, all right? Um, even though it's been a tough week, man, I don't want to talk about it. You know, I'm sure you guys can tell what I mean. Looking at this, this, I'm not going to even mention it. But anyway, um, I'm trying to stay positive, dude. I really am. So, this is great, man. This is... Uh, this is great news, and uh, listen, this is this is just the reason why Xbox is so successful now. It's because for the price of the $16 a month, and if you really think about it, it's not even $16 a month. It's roughly around $11 a month because you can use the rewards program and you can uh, you can redeem a gift card, five dollar gift card every single month, and you can shave down that price from sixteen to uh, eleven dollars due to the five dollar gift card. So for let's say for eleven dollars a month, if you use the gift card, which I do, I'm just giving you idea on what I do. I use the five dollar gift card towards my Game Pass. It's uh, it's eleven dollars instead of uh, you know sixteen dollars. For for eleven dollars a month, man, you can't possibly tell me that you're not getting a great value. You can't tell me that you're getting better value with PlayStation Plus. I mean, you know, and and look, 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 look. Look, I have both of them, but as the owner of both of these services. I can easily say, hey, this one outweighs this one in terms of price. I mean, you look at the price that you pay for Game Pass and the benefits that you get. I mean, this is no-brainer, dude. You don't need a rocket scientist. You don't need a brain surgeon or a heart surgeon to come in here to tell you that difference, man. But for my Sony PlayStation fanboys, you know, no, that's, that's not gonna that's not going to work. They're still going to tell you, no, 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 no. This is a way better value. We pay more because we're we're elites. We're Sony elites, all right? We're Sony elites, okay? Well, be the elite all you want. All I can tell you is, with this, I save more money. I get all of these games... And I get to choose where I want to play, dude. Pretty soon I'll be able to play my Xbox games on a calculator, dude. Listen, I mean, this this is the Xbox year, all right? It's not only an Xbox month, but it's honestly also an Xbox year. So let me give you my closing uh, 
thoughts on this uh, very quickly. Okay. So this is going to be coming July. Okay, next month. I mean, well, just right, just around the corner, just around the corner, because we are already in June 28 right now. Uh, next week it's uh, July. So next, sometime next week or two weeks from now, maybe, maybe two weeks from now. Who knows? But it's coming in July. Okay. Keep an eye on your on your Amazon update and and you'll see it uh sometime next month uh, i'm guessing probably two weeks from now maybe around like uh july 14th or something like that i'm sure i'm sure you will see it or maybe even before then but possibly july 14th i'm just guessing the date i don't know exact date but i'm estimating uh, around between July 10th and July 14th, around there somewhere. So this is going to be great. Why is this a big deal? Well, now you don't need a council. But this also proves the point. Okay. Of course, they're going to be using a cloud. And this is why I keep telling everybody. This is what I've been preaching to everybody. And, and you know, I don't know, man. I, I think I think my, my English is pretty decent it's pretty decent right and, and i you know i try to do my best right to make sure that people understand what i'm saying okay even on the subtitles with the closed captions i try to do my best okay and um, i've been telling people that by 2030 beginning of 2031 that's it man everything it's going to be on the cloud and people are still having difficult time accepting that fact. Uh, and you can only guess who's having a difficult time accepting that fact. Sony fanboys. Even though their console already has cloud. Anyway. I've been saying this. Guys. Forget about your consoles. Yes, you will have a PlayStation 6, and that's it. And after that, it's over, man. By 2030, 2031, everything's going to be on the cloud. It's simply it not going to be necessary for Sony or Microsoft to be wasting money on paying AMD uh, or NVIDIA or Intel to be designing their GPUs and CPUs for their consoles because that costs money. You know, paying for AMD, right, to design a new GPU, CPU for their consoles, all of that stuff costs money, man. That, that's a lot of production. That's, that's, that's not cheap. So, you know, people need to wake up to a reality of where the future is going and uh i've been saying this day one you know and people still don't believe me when i tell them hey you do realize that cloud gaming is the future you, you do understand that now it has nothing to do whether you like it or don't like it nobody asked me about the you know blockbuster video stores uh, being closed down no one asked me, no one sent me a memo or, or email. Hey, are you okay with this, Mr. 4K? No one asked me that. No, no, no one cared. They didn't care about my feelings for Blockbuster, even though I used to work there. But I still has feelings, you know, for the company. Uh, and I do miss it, of course. You have to adapt to the, to, to, to the new technology, dude. Like, times change, man. People change. Everything changes. That's life, you know. You have to adapt to what comes next. Wh whatever comes next, you have to adapt to it, you know. And this is going to be the the new standard. Where you see this lady, that's that's the way it's going to be. Uh, pick and choose. You want the Xbox subscription, PlayStation subscription. You're just going to need a television. Everything is going to be there. That's it. All in your living room, dude. How convenient. Everything's there. No need for any 
plastic boxes, no more exclusivity, beating your chest, you know. Welcome to the future, guys. This is it. And again, yet another great news for Xbox. What can I say, man? Uh, Phil Spencer is having a great summer right now, man. Not only is he having a great summer, he's having a great year. And he's going to have a great holiday season as well. I mean, you know. I remember, was it, uh, in May, everybody was saying, oh, Phil Spencer should step down. Phil Spencer this, Phil Spencer that. Wow. Look how quickly the, to uh, the, the tables have turned. 360. No pun intended. Xbox 360. There you go. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Look, if you like what I do, um, hit the like, share, subscribe. Let me know. Okay. And uh, I'll see you guys later on today. Yes. And don't worry, my, my sunny ponies. Uh, we are doing something on the PlayStation today. Uh, yeah. It's a small little game called Fear on the PlayStation Plus via Cloud PlayStation 3. Okay? All right, guys. I'll see you. Take care.